our buddies. Happy Fall Friday. That was Pinball Machine, which of course features a banjo. Now the track is a semitone higher, so it may have been tuned up or using a capo, but I've lowered it to G to make it simple, which is probably how it was actually played, okay? And so I've got the banjo tuned to the, if you've got a tenor banjo, I've kept that as the G. I've changed the normal tuning of the D string to an E, and then the rest of the strings are tuned normally, G, B, and D. Okay. So I'm playing, just sliding to B on four on the G string. And then just picking that string again. Use the pick, you could use your fingers. And then picking the string and then the open string. Twice, so you got. And then I'm playing G. I'm playing this pattern. So it's just those two notes, three and open, so G to E. Okay, but I'm also kind of catching the other strings as I strum. So I'm getting. And sometimes adding that note there, you hear that a little later. So I'm just adding that second fret of the D string there a little, and pulling off. Okay, so just playing around with those notes. Essentially, it's based over a G chord or A flat in the original P, and it just occasionally plays you hear on the bass where it goes to a C. But the banjo is really kind of just sticking to these these notes. All right, so next we'll take a look at the bass. So for the bass part, I'm just playing two notes. I'm playing the semitone down from the original. I'm playing G and C, just three on the E string to three on the A string. Or if you're gonna play in A flat, just one fret up, A flat and D flat. And, and as I mentioned earlier, it's quite, you've got to kind of work out and maybe just write out the chords and follow them because there's no real pattern to when it to when it actually changes to that C. There's no real set number of bars. Sometimes it's a, a four bars. Sometimes it's like nine bars. Okay, so just um, you can just follow along. All right, so there you go. Great tune. Thanks for watching. Cheers.